Is the Newark mayor's race one of the toughest ever? That's what we heard yesterday from a candidate, Roz Baraka. Tonight we hear from his opponent, Shavar Jeffries. We welcome you to the program. Uh, one, one got the sense from, uh, from your opponent that things were kind of dirty, I guess is the way I would describe it. Do you think this has been a dirty campaign? Well, I think, unfortunately, there's been a series of events where, um, frankly, coming out of my opponent's camp, there's been a lot of intimidation. Uh, there's been municipal employees who've been threatened with retaliation. I've had supporters who've had their water uh, turned off. I have business owners who are afraid to put my sign in their window because they're worried about code enforcement and others uh, retaliating against them. I and mean, that's coming, as far as you're concerned, coming directly from the candidate himself or his campaign? Well, his leadership, even the candidate's brother, uh, who's his campaign manager in chief and staff, uh, has accosted canvassers uh, of mine, has rolled up on supporters of mine and what threatened them. What do you mean them. by accosted? Well, he's challenged them verbally and, and, and suggested that, uh, they, you know, that, that they were wrong to be able to support me. And this is the campaign manager. But what I really try to do is focus on the people. Many of these issues are not what the average Newark is concerned about. Average Newark is concerned about safe streets and neighborhoods, job opportunities, great schools. We really want to stay focused there and not with some of these distractions. I want to go on that. But before we do, he, of course, brought up yesterday the incident with the burning bus. And, and someone who's been identified as, as being related to your campaign in some capacity has been arrested and charged in that crime. What do you have to say about that? Well, we've asked the Attorney General for a full investigation of this. I don't think all the facts have come out. Uh, I understand that this person who's been uh, for, for, who has been arrested on this may have associations with other people's so campaigns. identified as a canvasser uh, is, is the way it was described, well, but we, is that we, accurate we, or not? We pay hundreds of folks to put signs on polls. Uh, you know, it's an employment opportunity for Norkers. Uh, so we have a large campaign. Uh, if this person did what he's alleged to do, he needs to be prosecuted to the full extent of the law. He obviously has no role in our campaign. It wasn't at the time that uh, this incident alleged happened. Anybody else who's alleged to have been involved is no longer working with our campaign. But I've asked for a full investigation uh, because I believe there's more facts uh, uh, to be had here. And I wouldn't be surprised there's other associations this person may have with my opponent's can uh, candidacy you, or others. You're saying that perhaps it was a setup? I'm saying I want a full investigation to get to the bottom of all of the facts here. Uh, I hope uh, no one else had any involvement here, but I want a full investigation so we know exactly what happened. Uh, let's talk about uh, the people who occupy the mayor's office right now and has uh, have before. Uh, mayor Quintana, the acting interim mayor. Uh, what kind of job has he done, in your opinion? Well, the city is not in good shape right now, and I'm not going to pull that at his feet. I'm running for mayor because I believe we can move this city forward. The city has a very difficult budget right now. We had 111 murders in the city of Newark in 2013. As an assistant attorney general, I actually ran safety plans for the state of New Jersey that reduced violent crime three years in a row. I managed large budgets, budgets of $170 million at the state level. We cut overtime, cut fat. Unfortunately, I have a culture uh, typified by opponent of multiple public jobs. My opponent has his family members on the payroll. My my opponent has a taxpayer-funded job. Are you saying that he doesn't have the, the, the moral underpinnings to fight crime the way you would? I'm saying he doesn't have the experience. Uh, I'm not saying he. I don't. I'm not saying he's not. He's not morally committed. I'm saying he doesn't have the experience I have. We can't afford on-the-job training. What would you do? Would you hire more police? We absolutely need more police. Where do, get, where do you get the money to do that? Well, we have to manage our budget. It begins with reducing some of the perks and fat that's typified by my opponent. Do the Newark Police Department need a federal monitor after all? Uh, under my leadership, we will not. I mean, obviously, we've had some malfeasance that needs to be addressed. If you have a strong mayor who's experienced uh, and who can manage the department responsibly, we won't need the external oversight. Uh, but if you have business as usual, you do. What do you think about the job that uh, legacy left behind by Mayor Booker? Well, I believe it's a mixed legacy. I think he did a lot of great work around economic development that we're going to build upon. And if you have a mayor that scares away investment, the city will regress. We'll be on the path to Detroit. Uh, so we have to build upon the economic development work the mayor did. So are you uh, saying that you'd be better than your opponent at attracting that kind of money? That kind I'm of saying I'd be dramatically better. In the South Ward, where my opponent is the councilman, there is no development. There is no major economic uh, projects at work. Crime is up 70 percent. Murders up 70 percent, excuse me, under his watch. Uh, he's marched against the investment community, marched against outside for 15, 20 years. He's been very racially divisive. Uh, that's the exact sort of formula uh, that'll lead the city to be disinvested uh, in uh, from an economic standpoint. At this point, so he put out a poll saying he's way ahead. You buy that poll? Of course he put out a poll. I mean, that poll isn't worth the paper it's printed on. It's sponsored by supporters of my opponent. It's not an independent poll. So I'm not, uh, it's, it's, I guess it's a big surprise uh, that a poll sponsored by his supporters suggested he was ahead. It's not worth the paper it's printed on. Jeffries, thank you for coming in, sir. Thank you.